Hey guys, welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we will be working our way through one of the mini MCAT practice problems found at MCATSelfPrep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Andrew George, a 99th percentile MCAT tutor, and I will be walking you through today's practice problem as if you were one of my private tutoring students. Be sure to hit pause and try this problem for yourself before watching my explanation. As seen here, when water goes from a high index of refraction, in this case water, with an index of refraction of 1.33 into something with a lower index of refraction, such as air, with an index of refraction of 1.00, you're going to notice that the angle increases. So as it transitions from the higher index of refraction to the lower index of refraction, we see the light bend away from the normal line. And as we continue to increase the incident angle on the surface of this water, Notice that this angle of bend is also increasing until we reach a point at which the angle is so great that instead of passing into the other medium, it simply runs right along the surface. We call this angle the critical angle. And any angle that is above the critical angle results in total internal reflection. For instance, in this case, the incident angle is 60 degrees, which is higher than the critical angle of 48.8 degrees. Thus, all we see is reflection. All the light that would have been refracted is now being reflected inward. Think about it. It's just a continuation of this increasing angle. It goes 27 degrees, 42 degrees, 59 degrees, 90 degrees, and then we reach a point at which it surpasses 90 degrees, becomes something like 120 degrees, right? Think about it. This is 120 degrees right here. But since it's not entering the new medium, but simply coming back into the original medium, we no longer think about it as refraction, but we think about it as reflection. So we can summarize total internal reflection as refraction that results in reflection, which matches up perfectly with answer choice B. If you enjoyed this MCAT question of the day, be sure to give it a like. And for more MCAT questions of the day, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and enroll in our free MCAT prep course found at MCATSelfPrep.com. And if you are really looking to maximize your MCAT score, feel free to visit my tutoring profile page and request a free 10-minute phone consultation. I would love to chat with you about your situation and how you can maximize your MCAT score. I look forward to hearing from you soon. We'll see you next time.